So this is the sample scene that comes uh, inside the Immerse SDK as one of the packages. Um, you should have pre seen previous instructions how to install it. Uh, when you do, uh, if you're using the package manager, when you do, you'll see that it appears inside this uh, folder here in uh, in the assets folder. Uh, in samples, interaction reporting, exam uh, example scene. So when you open this example scene, you'll see um, it's a pretty simple uh, scene. Uh, we have two cubes. We have uh, a red cube and a blue cube here. Uh, and anyone running through this um, will, if you put on a VR headset, if we build this and put it into a VR environment, you basically have to pick up a red cube, drop it into the red socket. You pick up the blue cube, drop it into the blue socket and press the uh, button here. And when you do that, um, it will send a completion statement to the Immerse platform. Uh, and if you uh, put one cube in, so you just put the red cube in and hit the button, it will send a completion statement along with uh, a score. So you'll get a score one out of two and you will fail because you haven't put both cubes into the socket. If you were to put in the blue cube as well and hit uh, the button there, you will get a, a completion with a pass and a score of two out of two. So like I said, it's a very simple scene, but the purpose of it is to really just show you some of the key components of the Immerse SDK um, and really sort of just get you up and running as fast as possible so you can understand how to use this. Uh, the scene itself is pretty simple. Again, it's broken down into only a handful of components here. The um, the most uh, the most important thing here is that all of these components, or most of these components, have an annotation script here. So um, it should be pretty self-explanatory, and I'm not going to talk through all the component, all the annotations here, but uh, just really just give you an overview of, of what is inside uh, this scene. So. The scene index is critical because it tells the Immerse platform what components inside this environment need to be tracked, what need to be synchronized if it's a, a multi-user environment. So absolutely critical. If you don't index your objects in here, the Immerse platform won't know what to do with them. So uh, sometimes developers struggle and don't understand why they're objects are not being recognized for the platform it's normal normally because they haven't indexed them so the index is absolutely critical here and if I break it down here and have a quick look you'll see the kind of elements here that are being indexed so we've got the the cube itself the snapper element that's snapping the cube into the socket um, snap targets as well so the actual targets that uh, that are being used for the uh, putting the cubes into the sockets here. So these are elements we want to synchronize. Um, if I break it down a little bit further, uh, we have um, our reporting example in here. So the reporting manager, uh, there's a, another tutorial about the reporting manager, but essentially you use it here this, um, to define the structure of the reporting that you want to send back to um, the the Immerse platform to, to capture user data. Um, in this example, it's really quite simple. Uh, I'm just gonna resize that. <laughs> uh, we have our session level statement, which is basically a completion statement. And then broken down, we have two objectives. One of them is to place the red cube. And you'll see there we've got a verb here, place. And the next one is to place the blue cube. So like I said, very, very simple scene but it's XAPI based, so uh, verb, noun type uh, structure. Uh, and this is the, uh, the def uh, this defines how the report will look when it's pushed back to the Immerse platform. And in a following video, I'm gonna show you uh, what that looks like inside the SDK itself, but also when you upload this application to the platform uh, as you would a real application. So I'm gonna shut that down. Um, but like I said, there's annotations here, so I'm not just gonna go through here reading them all out. Um, if we hit a cube, so let's have a look at the cube itself here. So um, a few interesting components here, which are specific to the Immerse SDK. It's got a physics-based handle. Um, again, there's um, a separate video on 
interactions and um, uh, interactivity, but this uh, essentially uh, is a physics-based component using, uh, I think, the Unity Physics Library. Um, there's a snapper element as well, so that you get, again, like I said, it's all about picking up objects and making sure they snap into place when you uh, release them. Uh, you'll see there's an action reporter component being added to this. So um, I meant you saw in the uh, the report builder that we had the high level completion statement and there was um, lower level objectives, which were the red cube was needs to be placed into the socket. Well, before you even get there, there's a lower level action, which is picking up the red cube. And again, you'll see this in a further video, uh, how this looks when it's actually uh, run through end to end. Um, I think the other components here are pretty standard, rigid bodies, mesh renderers. Yeah, so pretty standard Unity uh, components there. But this, as I said, everything should be annotated here. So please do go through and, and read these. Um, again, uh, the uh, completion button, uh, pretty standard stuff. The the um, I think the environment here as well. Again, there's not as the annotation says here. There's no SDK magic. It's just purely objects inside the environment. Um, so that at a very very high level sums up the sample scene. Uh, we would actively encourage you to look through this, um, disassemble it, reassemble it. Do do what you like with this scene, but definitely use this as a basis for um, basic interactivity and obviously XAPI reporting in your uh, projects.